We got a Cody Mark Quinn video package highlighting this TNT Championship match. All right, I am at a 6% battery of life, so I'm going to try and get through this without my computer dying. So, Private Party got new music. It has a thousand times better music for this act. It fits them a hundred, a thousand times better. Uh, they're, they're wearing black, uh, Black Lives Matter armbands. The announcers point this out. And Mark Quinn, he's had the storyline. He hit a dive and sold his leg. And I talked about how he got hurt and you scolded me for being a Mark and being worked. He's either really hurt or he's the best seller in 2020 because he's limping throughout this match. He wasn't he's hurt. He's, then he's the best seller of 2020. When he's limping around the ring, he's still doing all his moves, but every one you can tell he's in pain. He can barely move. He's he's limited in what he can do. He's still able to hit all his big dives. Each one comes at a bigger and bigger cost. He hits a series of dives. Cody rolls outside of the ramp. So Quinn is a 450 from there, which hurts both of them. But it, it's a title match. This is the TNT Championship match. So you got to pull out all the stakes or pull out all the stops, whatever that saying is. He throws Cody into the ring. Goes for a shooting star press. Cody dodges, catches him in an ankle lock, turns it into an Indian death lock kind of thing, and Quinn taps. Cody wins. This is a pretty good little TV match. Mark Quinn is awesome, and this story they're telling of Cody getting worn down every week is very, very good. So I guess I'm the only one on the planet who was driven crazy by all of the flipping and jumping in this match, and... You're allowed to like or dislike whatever you want, everybody. You know I'm 45 years old tomorrow, Vinny? Today, actually. 45 years old. Hi, Bert. I, I'm now an old man. Now. I feel that I'm allowed to give advice to the youngsters. And my advice is you're allowed to like or dislike whatever you want. And I did not think this was a bad match. Mark Quinn is very green. Cody, I thought, did a, a good job with him. But I was so taken out of this match every time this dude did a giant jumping flip dive over the top rope with his supposedly bad leg. Like, to me, the whole point of working over somebody's leg, especially a high flyer, is the story is then, well, they can't fly. Because they usually run, and they usually jump, and they usually flip, but... You have taken their legs out. Now they can't do it anymore. Now they have to find another way to win. That's the story. If every time you work over somebody's leg, they just go out there and they do all the same flips and all the same dives and all the same 450s and the three straight flip dives over the top, then what the fuck is the point of working over the leg at all? Except to just do something during a match. I don't like it, okay? And I have the right to not like it. Now, I had some people on the board going, Brian, I've watched a million real sports, yes. and so-and-so was hurt, and they still managed to do whatever. Okay, here's the big difference, all right? The reason these things get over big in sports is because a lot of times when people get hurt, they can't continue. You fall down on the court, and they, they, they take you out of the game. You get smashed during the football game, they take you off the field and you're out. Every now and then somebody gets gets some sort of injury, but you know what? They don't get carted off the field. And they get back in there and they manage to still compete with the injury and they, they do something that seems miraculous. That's why it's a fucking story. If 85% of the time, when you work over someone's leg, they can't jump anymore then the 15% of the time when someone actually does overcome, then it is a story. But in every fucking single solitary match, you work over the guy's leg, and he does the same fucking comeback anyway, so what's the point? That's my opinion. I'm sticking with it. Have you love it? You're welcome to. You're welcome to love it. It's whatever you want to love. But I watch it, and all I can think is, this is fake. This guy could not do three straight flip dives with a broken fucking leg or whatever. He just can't. So that's my thoughts.